Adventures Part 2 on Big Red Mower t First Test Drive. Started, but I just want to move this camera down here. Make sure it's still recording.
you think about it. We there are some comets. Uh, me driving bed red motor. I have yet not gotten real wheels for this build. Once I do, I'll come out with a video of the new tires. But for now, I'm still using my dad's tires, and it's a lot of fun. Well, not for him, but for me, it is. He doesn't really like this motor as much. Someone offered to buy it, and my dad offered to sell it. And I told him it's not for sale. I do got a fist to shifter on it, and some other things. Right, I'm having shifter problems, and then you can hear it when I try to shift downwards, it just makes a lot of noise. That's just because the rear end's turning too fast for it to slow down to the stop, because it has no brakes. I gotta find out how to set brakes on this thing still, and get my own wheels. I just need this size wheels. 23 by 8.5 by 12 inch rims. So if anyone has 12 inch rims with 4 bolt uh, or 4 bolts well, let me know in the comments. See if they're, you live nearby me and hopefully I can get them because I do want, I found these really great tires I could put on these rims but these rims ain't mine, so I need my own rims. I don't really need the turf saver tires, I just need rims, really. Because I'm going to put mud rips on this, but I'm just wondering if the tire careers right through here will be more than anywhere else. Because so I might have to make the transmission go back some, or to make that clearance there. And I have to get a water belt only by an inch or so, but I'm thinking about getting rid of the 9 inch pulley going down to a 7 inch or something. I'm having belt issues with the 9 inch in the front. That's why you can hear the belt spreeling this head off because of those two pulleys I put up there that are worn out and I need to get new pulleys. Just little idle pulleys that goes on the um, just keeps the tractor engaged. Well, that's it for today. Hope you all have. I was in third gear the whole time. That's just because third gear is the best when you're out driving around the yard. Does this thing goes 35 miles an hour on the road? Right now, I will do it on the road, but I just haven't found anywhere I can really do it, like on a back road or something. Because my road is mainly cars like crazy, and I don't want my camera getting hit or anything. Or me getting hit by a car, just by trying to turn to my own driveway. I might come out with a video of me driving this on the road, but who knows. I do need to adjust this, because it has all that slack in there. That's why my foot was having a hard time keeping the throttle wide open or crust wide open. So yeah. I don't know if you can see those pulleys, but one's here. I don't think this camera's on focus, but one's there. And the other one's over there. There's just two idle pulleys to make sure my belt doesn't rub against anything underneath here. These two pulleys here and here here and there are completely worn out. They make so much noise down here. It's just ringing my ears. And that's what the noise is coming from, from these two idle pulleys I have here, just to keep my belt tension to the front pulley. And my truck is making noise as well. It's just everything's loose down here. I need a Tighten things up a bit. Cause it vibrates like crazy down here. I have yet to fix that crack on the wall of the tractor. So I'm gonna do some mock race this winter. I might not do videos of it, but I'll show you later on some mock race I'll be putting on this tractor. I am going to put a new clutch on this tractor. 
knowing I like the crotch I have, but I just wanted to get a bar crotch design and a few other things designed this winter. So I'm, because I'm really doing a tractor. The Trish is stained. The front wheels are stained, but I'm gonna do some upgrades, make things stronger, the body stronger, the fenders and everything. I'm just gonna read clean everything up and paint it maybe. I might paint the tractor while I'm redoing everything. The edge is stained. I have yet decided if I'm gonna replace the post trying. It's just that this thing will run perfect on wide open throttle, but when you pull it down to no throttle, it just sputters out. So yeah, more of it's like a carburetor issue. When you go at full throttle, then you just let go and it just dies. I'll see y'all later. Have a great day.